This virus may become just another endemic virus in our communities, and this virus may never go away. HIV has not gone away, but we've come to terms with the virus, and we have found the therapies, and we've found the prevention methods, and people don't feel as scared uh, as they did before, and we're offering life to people with HIV, long, healthy lives to people with HIV. We do have one great hope. If we do find a highly effective vaccine uh, that we can distribute to, uh, to everyone who needs it in the world, we, w we may have a shot at eliminating uh, this, uh, this uh, virus. But that, vi that vaccine will have to be available. It will have to be highly effective. It will have to be made available to everyone, and we will have to use it. Before we began responding to this event on the 31st of December, we were heavily involved and had teams in the Western Pacific uh, working on measles. I think there were 14 ventilators in Western Samoa at that time, or, and uh, all 14 were occupied by young children. And they were occupied by young children who had a devastating disease. It was called measles, and they weren't vaccinated against that disease. So uh, forgive me if I'm cynical, but we have some perfectly effective vaccines on this planet that we have not used effectively for diseases we could eliminate and eradicate, and we haven't done it. We've lacked the will, we've lacked the, the determination to invest in health systems to deliver that. We've lacked the capacity to sustain primary health care at the front end. Therefore, science can come up with the vaccine, but someone's got to make it, and we've got to make enough of it, that everyone can get a dose of it, and we've got to be able to deliver that, and people have got to want to take that vaccine. Every single one of those steps is fraught with challenges.